On the 20th of January, the Kenya Airline Pilots Association issued a seven-day ultimatum to the board and management of Kenya Airways. The pilots' union called for the immediate disbandment of KQ's entire management, led by its chief executive officer, Mbuving Gunze, due to no confidence in the management's ability to turn around the airline's flagging fortunes. And after its first ultimatum lapsed, Kalpa issued a second one, which lapses tomorrow. It is against this backdrop that the association called called a press conference that was later cancelled. CALPA's Secretary General, Captain Paul Gishinga, says CALPA is prepared to, and I quote, take definitive action in 48 hours, end quote, if the outcome of the airline's board meeting fails to meet their demands. The pilots further insist on the total overhaul of the airline's management, arguing that the team which oversaw the airline's downward spiral cannot be trusted to champion its recovery, end quote. This latest ultimatum comes barely a fortnight after the airline sacked its former group finance director, Alex Mbogwa, who was replaced in an acting capacity by KQ's cargo general manager, Dick Murianki. <laughs> Kalpa's relationship with the airline's management has, however, been characterized by numerous standoffs. The last major one came in the wake of the early retirement of 10 pilots, say to have attained the age of 62 years early last year. And with the airline seemingly stuck in loss-making territory, it appears the rift between KQ's management and the pilots' union shows no sign of narrowing. Belaganga Citizen Business Center.